after two endless days of battling flames from the ground and the sky, the wildfires ravaging the island of Maui are now largely contained. But what they leave behind are scenes of a community razed to the ground. The beachside town of Lahaina, once the royal capital of the Hawaiian kingdom and the keeper of historic treasures, is now unrecognizable. Evacuated residents who took shelter at high schools and parking lots fear what they'll find when they return home. Woke up this morning and got on our phones to pictures of our house uh, just down to the slab. Nothing but smoke. Cinders. Came with all that. Clothes we got on and a dog and two kids. Here we are. President Joe Biden approved a Hawaii disaster declaration on Thursday. People desperate, desperately needing help now. They've lost, uh, if anyone who's lost a loved one whose home has been damaged or destroyed is going to get help immediately. Hey, if anybody's still out here, it's time to go. The U.S. Coast Guard rescued 14 people who turned to the ocean to escape the flames. Now members of the Hawaiian National Guard and the U.S. Army comb through the wreckage for survivors. The primary focus is to save lives and to prevent human suffering and to mitigate great property loss. There's also the loss to the tourism industry, Maui's main economic driver. At least 11,000 tourists were evacuated. This evacuated couple from Canada says it seems impossible to escape wildfires wherever you are in the world. We didn't go to Greece because of the wildfires and we came here and there's wildfires. Uh, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, we were closer to them here than they are. We are in Canada. There's, there's a lot there. We could smell like the air quality is similar to actually. The exact causes of Hawaii's wildfires are still unclear, but few doubt the planet's warming climate was an enabler. Heidi Joe Castro, Al Jazeera.